Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anissa, I am the crafty author, and welcome. Today we are going to be making a really, really fun project using water slide decal paper. This was sent to me by this wonderful company, um, Koala, and one of them is a no need spray, and the other one you will need a spray. I will be using the Mod Podge um, spray to seal. This is what it looks like. You can pick this up at Walmart. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think Michaels probably carries it. Um, so anyway, but I use this and I think it's awesome. I love the product. I'm gonna show you what I used it with. I used the clear water slide decal um, inkjet paper that dries in clear. That's what I have made so far on this little tumbler. It is a Durable. I will seal it, seal it again, just because I want to be able to submerge it and whatnot. But you could actually just let it be like this and let it dry, and it would work out perfectly. All right, so I picked up this two pack of stainless steel double wall um, cups with a straw. And this is good for sublimation and it's also gonna work for what we're doing with um, the water slide. So I'm gonna be doing the clear water slide on here um, just because it's a little bit easier to do. I'm also gonna show you something a little different that I have found with doing water slide that I prefer. There's a different method um, that I prefer to use. So, but these are what I use for this project. Now let's move on to the stainless steel um, cup. I'm really excited about this one. So let's put the Alice in Wonderland Alice into the water and see how long it takes us before we can put her on the, the cup here. Now, this surface is a little bit different to work with. Um, it's not as smooth as some of the others, and so it's a little bit harder to put um, the slip onto a stainless steel um, tumbler. But if you work with it, it can work for you. So that's what we're gonna do. I also have a pair of tweezers just in case I need them, um, but I haven't needed to use them yet so far. So I'm just going and getting my cup wet just like we did before, and you can do this on a bunch of different mediums, and that is why I'm doing this on so many different um, products, to show you how versatile this product really, really is. And it's super cute. These make excellent gifts and <clears throat> are a lot of fun to make, actually, and you can make them relatively quick. Uh, you just need to have a 24-hour dry time, so if you're sealing. If you're not sealing, then you don't need to worry about that. Um, but I am sealing. So we're just about ready to put that design on our cup. And I wanted to put it face up, but I'm going to do it face down because I just tend to have a little easier time with it, um, <clears throat> with the designs when I do them that way. So but you can do it face up. It actually calls for you to do it exactly like this, but I like to put them face down. So try whichever method works best for you. They both work great, so you can't go wrong either way. You really cannot. So um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this over because it's just not happening here for me, so gonna turn it over and I'm gonna slide like this now when you're sliding these off you want to be careful because you don't want to put too much pressure because you'll tear it um, but you need to have just the right amount of pressure to pull the design the slip paper off <clears throat> now I did do one where I actually did tear tear it and it was because I pulled way too hard so you just want to make sure that you're not doing that. And so you can see here now I'm trying to get it to slide. And now the design is going to start sliding for me here. 
so I'm just applying light pressure while pulling and I'm just kind of letting it slide down on its own and guiding it off the the cup itself but you have to hold the design at the top to keep it in place this is also another reason why you want to wet the cup before you start because it helps it to slide and position your design when you're doing this so you can see now the design is really sliding onto the cup there you can see right there now I have the design on now when I did this it stretched um, it stretched her hair and it stretched her dress a little bit and that's because this particular stainless steel mug um, is really not the correct surface for this but I like the way that it turned out so I kept it um, it made it look distressed to me and I really like that look so I kept the cup and I just kept working with it and using water to smooth everything out and then once I had it all smoothed out I just made sure that those corners were down because you don't want your corners curling up and then again I'm going to put this one outside and let it dry out there because it's a nice warm day today so I will blot this up I'm going to get up all that excess water I'm going to make sure that I don't have any air bubbles in there any water pockets anything like that and then I will set it outside to dry all right we are on our final design and I'm going to be using an old coffee mug that I've had just kind of hanging around that um, needs a little updating so here we are using the no need spray um, paper now this paper is a little bit thicker and it has a thicker coating so it has a shiny side and a thicker side on the back the shiny side is what you want to print on you do not need to spray this one to seal it this one is already you just print on it and then you just stick it in the water it doesn't matter if the water is warm or if it's cold um, any will do so and we're just waiting for that design to get prepared to to slide on um, I will do the same process that I did before so I will wet the cup and you'll see me doing that here in just a second um, but you want to wet the cup and then you're gonna slide the design on now this design is going to be a little different because we are not going to put it face down we're gonna leave it face up like the directions um, suggest so I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna set it on my cup and I'm gonna make sure that it's big enough for my cup and it's not I need to cut it down just a little bit because I made it way too big so I'm just gonna keep cutting it down until I can get it down to the correct size and it needs a little more trimming here so we're just gonna trim it and don't be afraid to do that if you need to um, you know things happen when we're crafting so you just want to make sure that it's going to fit on your your mug or your your coffee cup so I'm gonna put it back in there just for a couple minutes to make sure that it can get nice and wet for the slide here and I just love this Mickey Mouse print it's so stinking cute <laughs> Mickey Mouse in his little hoodie. I figured that would be perfect for fall since fall is coming up. So now I can have my coffee or my hot cocoa with my in my Mickey Mouse mug. Too cute. Way too cute. Okay, so that looks like it's about ready to go. Um, just letting it sit there this one took a little bit longer I think because the paper was a little bit thicker and so that's what I'm doing here I'm just waiting for it to be ready
there you go. And you'll know by how it, it'll start sliding off when you're in the water. That's how you'll know when your design is ready. So now you see I have that design face up, whereas the other time I put it face down. This time we're doing it face up, and I'm just going to pull that backing off from underneath, and I'm going to stabilize my design on my cup. And now my design is on my cup. And I can move around, so don't be afraid to move your designs around. You want to get it in the right spot. And then I'm going to, again, blot off all the excess water and get all the air bubbles out. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to take my finger. I'm going to use the water to push down the ends that look like they might be trying to come up. So if you're finding that you're having that, then you'll need to do that as well. Just take your finger and push it down and just work with it. And then it'll turn out fantastic. Look at that. Okay, so my thoughts on this. I really love this product. I think this is a really, really great product. This is the water slide decal paper that you, abs this is clear, and you will need to seal the design before, um, before immersing it in water. So this is what it looks like. That's the back side of it with the green writing on it, and then it has a shiny side, and that's the side you will print on. This one is the Koala brand. They're both Koala brand. This is the Koala brand No Need for spray, so no need for a sealant on this one. Um, so on this one, I did the coffee mug and it worked really great on the coffee mug. I just set mine outside to dry and it dried just fine out there. So for my own sake, I did, but you do not have to with this. With this one, you do. <clears throat> my favorite one is this one. I love the clear. Um, I just, this one is a little bit thicker. Um, it has a little thicker feeling to it. Feels a little more like paper. This one, I just, I really like it. I like it because you can't really see it on a cup when you're making it. I'm going to show you the cups that I did make. Now I do want to mention that when I did do this, I put one on my Yeti cup. I did the Cheshire cat on that one. And I did this in the, the clear, and I think it's so cute. And I did seal it. So I did put a layer of the spray on it to seal it. These are still drying, by the way. Um, it will take them at least 24 hours to dry, but I wanted you to see them, okay? The same with my Hello Kitty cup. It is still drying. It's only been drying for probably about six hours now. Um, but this one turned out cute, and of course I had to put the Crafty Author on there. Um, I love it. Hello. <laughs> and I also got this cup, just so you know, I picked up this cup at Joann's as well on the clearance rack. You can get these at Walmart. This one was the best one to use. I'm just hands down. Okay. And then I made this one on my stainless steel tumbler that I picked up. Now I want to tell you something about this. Now, I really like the way this turned out, okay? Um, and I used the clear and then I sprayed it with my Mod Podge. Um, this looks very antique-y and just crumply and kind of just like it's worn and I love it. I personally love this. Now, now I realize not everybody's gonna love this look. So to each their own, but I want you to know that stainless steel does not work that well with this, okay? Um, it's really tough to get it on there, but I was able to get this on there just by working with it and stretching it a little bit, but you can see that it does have the crackling in her dress and in her hair and, you know, on that cup. Last but not least, this was the one that I did with the um, No Need Spray and you don't need it. And so, and you can see it when I'm doing it in the video there, but how cute, right? 
He turned out so cute. Um, Hello Kitty. Cheshire Cat. And Alice in Wonderland. Now, these images all came from Cricut Design Space. I've paid for all of these with my own money and um, I own the rights to use them for personal use and so I did. So in case you're wondering where I got my designs from, they are from Cricut Design Space. If you have Cricut Design Space, you too can purchase those as well. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to share it, please do because sharing is caring. And don't forget to give the little bell a little click. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video by being a subscriber and keep on crafting. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.